very conscious of all my ancestors looking down at me from their positions high up on the walls right round. To get, to get into Loch Crew, you go to the local farmer and he'll give you a set of keys and a flash lamp. You open up a big metal door and you can travel down this corridor with, uh, you know, stone carvings 5,000 years old. A figure like Daniel O'Connell, Ireland's liberator, was the godfather of Edmund Smithick, who's the great-grandson of the original John Smithick, who set up the brewery. I think that's amazing to think that he was actually making speeches out of the windows of our very visitor centre. You know, something amazing about that. And then you go over, it's a beautiful lake, dark lake with a beach around it. But the beach wasn't always there. Guinness imported that sand. And the reason being is when people are going by, they see a giant pint of Guinness. Be it the drink is the lake, and the beach is the head of the point. The Great Telescope, or Monster, sometimes even his Lordship's Monster, as it's known locally here. And he was so exasperated with her persistence that she said, throw down your cloak on the ground and I'll give you as much as your cloak will cover. And to Bridget's delight and the King's exasperation, the cloak just began to spread out and out and out all over the coral plain. They sought out beautiful places places for calm of the soul and calm of the spirit and, and, and they settled in these places and, and they made them their home. I think that festival time is a magical, it's a special time and when you combine that with the unique magic of these ancient spaces then that's a festival that people will get on a plane and travel and want to spend some magical days at. If you're lucky enough to get there very early in the morning at sunrise when there's absolutely nobody around um, it is, it's a special place and it would be, you know, I think you'd, you'd experience the same uh, feelings as St. Kevin did in the 6th century when he first arrived there. And there's a moment when the lights go off and you're left in the darkness that is unbelievable because you know that you're standing in the dark in the same space as they were standing 5,000 years ago. You know, they can go in, they can experience what life was like for these people, they can step back in time. In there, you're actually part of history. You're not, you're not just experiencing it through a television screen or through some computer game. This is the real thing. We say to the guests, yes, follow these directions, but if you take a wrong turn, you're going to see a lot, something that you weren't expecting to see. It's going to be beautiful one way or the other. If you know, from, from Newgrange and Brunabuinia all the way down to Waterford, the Viking Triangle, and of course Ireland's medieval mile in Kilkenny. There's just such a diverse number of things to see and do and I think this is the perfect way to, to I suppose, combine them all together.